Today we have some girdling roots that we're going to cut off of the main root. It's important to remove girdling roots such as these. We have two of them, one right here and one right here. So you can see it's literally like a, a cable that has the potential to choke this main root. This main root is extremely important for this sweet acacia in getting nutrients and moisture to the tree. And the larger in diameter it grows, and the more these girdling roots choke it, the less nutrients and the less moisture is gonna be able to get to the tree. So we're gonna cut them out. Uh, we're mostly familiar, everyone's usually familiar with girdling roots that girdle the trunk of a tree but it can also happen where a root girdles another root. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna cut these girdling roots off of this main root with a reciprocating saw, but you could use any tool. Uh, the hand saw doesn't work very well because you can't get it underneath the root and you might dull your hand saw in the dirt, but you could use a chisel or you might even uh, choose to use a, a Dremel tool just to get them all out. You can could, you could see it's almost like a, a cable that was over it. And if you get real close, you can see that it's already started to embed itself in the root. So we'll just take those off at their base. And try not to put any cuts or damage into the main root. And then there's one more. This girdling root, even though we've cut it at both ends, doesn't seem to be uh, detaching itself from this main root. Uh, that it seems like the main root has kind of grown over it a bit, and so it needs a little bit of prying. And so I'm gonna give it a go with this, see if we can pry it right out and not damage the main root. There we go. So it popped right off, it was just grabbing a little bit, and if you get real close you can see the mark that has been made, that's been made in the main root on both of these, uh, right here and right here. Now that both of these girdling roots have been uh, removed, where'd that other one go? Now that both of them have been removed, it's going to clear the way for nutrients and uh, moisture to flow a lot freer to get to the tree. You can really see how much this girdling root was starting to embed itself into this main root. That will allow significantly more moisture and nutrients to make its way over to the sweet acacia. This is an example of a girdling root around a trunk of a mesquite. In this particular case, it was the death of the tree. It was the cause of the tree falling over. The roots weren't spread wide. They just encircled the trunk, and that's not a very good foothold, and so the tree fell over. To learn more, please visit our website, RomeoTreeService.com, where you'll find our video, Mesquites and Palo Verdes, A Homeowner's Guide. Thank you for watching.